Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about the hyperbola with center at h, k. We have defined the hyperbola as a set of points on the coordinate plane such that the absolute value of the difference of the distances of any point from the two fixed points is constant. The fixed points are called foci, denoted by f sub 1 and f sub 2. Also, we have discussed the general form of the equations of a hyperbola is a second-degree polynomial in two variables that are ax squared minus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0 and ay squared minus cx squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0, where a, c, d, e, and f are elements of real numbers. While the standard form of the equation with center at h, k are given by x minus h quantity squared all over a squared minus y minus k quantity squared all over b squared equals 1 for horizontally oriented hyperbola and y minus k quantity squared over a squared minus x minus h quantity squared over b squared equals 1 for the vertically oriented hyperbola. Moreover, we have also determined the elements of the hyperbola as the following. The center is the middlemost point of a hyperbola. The vertices of a hyperbola are the endpoints of the transverse axis. Each vertex is a unit away from the center. The covertices of a hyperbola are the endpoints of the conjugate axis. Each vertex is b units away from the center. Foci of a hyperbola are the fixed points. Each foci is c units away from the center. Transverse axis is the line segment joining the vertices. The length of the transverse axis is equal to 2a. Conjugate axis is the line segment joining the covertices. The length of the conjugate axis is equal to 2b. Lateral recta are the line segments that join two points on the hyperbola and passes through the foci f sub 1 and f sub 2. Finally, the directrices are the lines outside the hyperbola. The equations of the directrices are x equals h plus minus a squared over c or y equals k plus minus a squared over c. Let us have an example. Given the equation y minus 1 quantity squared over 16 minus x minus 2 quantity squared over 9 equals 1, describe the hyperbola. Since the given equation is already in a standard form, we can easily determine the center, a squared, and the b squared. Remember that the center is at h, k. So here, this is your h and this is your k. Therefore, the center of our hyperbola is at 2, 1. The denominator of the positive squared term will be a squared, and the negative one will be b squared. Hence, in this equation, we will have a squared is equal to 16 and b squared is equal to 9. Since a squared is the denominator of y squared, then the orientation of the hyperbola is vertical. Furthermore, since a squared is equal to 16, then it follows that a is equal to 4. This is the distance of the vertices from the center. On the other hand, since b squared is equal to 9, then b is equal to 3, which is the distance of the covertices from the center. For the foci, we need to solve for the value of c using the formula c equals the square root of a squared plus b squared. 
using the values of a squared and b squared, which are 16 and 9 respectively, we will have c equals the square root of 16 plus 9. And 16 plus 9 will give us 25. Finally, c is equal to the square root of 25, which is 5. Therefore, the foci are 5 units away from the center. Since we already have the center, the orientation, the values of A, B, and C, we can now determine the other elements of the hyperbola by graphing. From our previous solution, we have learned that the standard form of the equation is y minus 1 quantity squared all over 16 minus x minus 2 quantity squared all over 9 equals 1. The center is at 2, 1, the orientation of the hyperbola is vertical, and the values of A, B, and C are 4, 3, and 5 respectively. Since the hyperbola is vertical, then it follows that the vertices are above and below the center, with a distance of 4 units since A is equal to 4. With that, we can see that the vertices are the points 2, 5 and 2, negative 3. On the other hand, the covertices of the hyperbola are on the right and on the left of the center that are 3 units away from it since B is equal to 3. Observe that these points are 5, 1 and Negative 1, comma 1. The foci are collinear with the vertices. Therefore, they are also above and below the center and are 5 units away from it since C is equal to 5. Thus, the foci are the points 2, comma 6 and 2, comma negative 4. Using the vertices and the covertices, drawing segments passing through them we can have an arbitrary rectangle that will help us in determining the asymptotes. Note that the asymptotes are the diagonal lines of this arbitrary rectangle. The equations of these asymptotes can be determined using the formula y minus k equals positive negative a over b quantity x minus h. Substituting the values of k a, B, and H on our equation, we will have the asymptotes to be the lines Y equals positive negative 4 thirds quantity X minus 2 plus 1. The length of the lateral recta is represented by 2B squared over A. Substituting the values of B squared and A, we will have 2 quantity 9 over 4 which is equal to 9 over 2 units. Likewise, since the hyperbola is vertically oriented, then the directrices are horizontal lines with the equation y equals k plus minus a squared over c. Substituting the values of k, a squared, and c on this equation, we will have the directrices to be the lines y equals 1 plus minus 16 over 5. When we simplify 1 plus minus 16 over 5, we're gonna have 4.2 and negative 2.2. Finally, with these elements, we can now draw the hyperbola this way. Let us take another example. We'll write the equation from general form to standard form and describe the hyperbola. 64x squared minus 36y squared plus 72y minus 2340 equals 0. For us to be able to rewrite this equation in a standard form, the first thing that we need to do is to isolate the constant term to the right side of our equation. So we're gonna have 64x squared minus 36y squared plus 72y equals 2340. 
Next thing to do is to regroup our terms according to their variables. So, we have here 64x squared. And in here, we need to group 36y squared plus 72y. However, notice that we have factored out here a negative number. For that case, positive here will become negative. Next, let us factor out the numerical coefficient of y squared which is 36. So, we will have 64x squared minus 36 quantity y squared minus 2y equals 2340. Next thing to do is completing the square. Remember that when we do completing the square, we divide this number by 2 and multiply the answer to itself. So 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 1 is equal to 1. So therefore, we will have 64x squared minus 36 quantity y squared minus 2y plus 1 equals 2340. Remember that what you have added on the left side of the equation should also be added on the right side. Now multiply negative 36 to positive 1. Negative 36 times positive 1 is negative 36. We need to subtract here 36. Factor y squared minus 2y plus 1. Recall that the factors of y squared minus 2y plus 1 is equal to y minus 1 times another y minus 1. So therefore, we can write it as 64x squared minus 36 quantity y minus 1 quantity squared equals 2,304. Next, divide the whole equation by the constant number 2,304. So we have here over 2,304 divided by 2,304 and also divided by 2,304. Make sure to lowest term the numerical coefficients of the squared terms with respect to the denominator and simplify the right side of the equation. So the lowest term of 64 over 2,304 is 1 over 36. So we will have x squared over 36 minus 36 over 2,304 is 1 over 64. So quantity y minus 1 squared over 64 equals 2,304 divided by itself is equal to 1. So therefore, this is the standard form of the equation. From the standard form of the equation, notice that our center is at h, comma k, which is 0, 1. The denominator of the positive squared term will be the a squared and the negative 1 will be the b squared. Therefore, we will have a squared is equal to 36 and b squared is equal to 64. Since a squared is the denominator of x squared, then the orientation of the hyperbola is horizontal. Furthermore, since a squared is equal to 36, then a is equal to 6. And since b squared is equal to 64, then b is equal to 8. a equals 6 is the distance of the vertices from the center, and b equals 8 is the distance of the covertices from the center. For the foci, we need to use the formula c equals the square root of a squared plus b squared to determine its value. So, using the values of a squared and b squared, which are 36 and 64, then we're gonna have the square root of 36 plus 64. 36 plus 64 is equal to 100. Getting its square root, then c is equal to 10. With this, the foci are 10 units away from the center. Since we already have the center, the orientation, the values of A, B, and C, we can now determine the other elements of the hyperbola by graphing. From our previous solution, we have learned that the standard form of the equation of the hyperbola is 
x squared over 36 minus y minus 1 quantity squared over 64 equals 1. The center of the hyperbola is at 0, 1. The orientation is horizontal and the values of a, b, and c are 6, 8, and 10 respectively. Since the hyperbola is horizontal, then it follows that the vertices are on the right and on the left of the center with a distance of 6 units since A is equal to 6. With that, we can see that the vertices are the points 6, 1 and negative 6, 1. On the other hand, the covertices of the hyperbola are above and below the center that are 8 units away from it since B is equal to 8. Observe that these points are 0, 0,9 and 0, negative 7. The foci are collinear with the vertices. Therefore, they are also on the right and on the left of the center and are 10 units away from it, since C is equal to 10. Thus, the foci are the points 10, 1 and negative 10, 1. Using the vertices and covertices, Drawing segments passing through them, we can have an arbitrary rectangle that will help us in determining the asymptotes. Note that the asymptotes are the diagonal lines of this arbitrary rectangle. The equations of these asymptotes can be determined using the formula y minus k equals positive negative b over a quantity x minus h. When we substitute the values of k, b, a, and h on this equation, then the asymptotes of our hyperbola are the lines y equals positive negative 4 over 3x plus 1. The length of the lateral recta is represented by 2b squared over a. Substituting the values of b squared and a on this formula, then we will have to quantity 64 over 6, which is equal to 64 over 3 units. Likewise, since the hyperbola is vertically oriented, then the directrices are vertical lines with the equation x equals h positive negative a squared over c. Substituting the values of a squared and c, we can see that the directrices are the lines x equals positive negative 18 over 5. When we simplify 18 over 5, we can see that it is equal to 3.6. Hence, the directrices are the lines x equals negative 3.6 and x equals positive 3.6. Finally, with these elements, we can now draw the hyperbola this way. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will discuss about finding the equations of hyperbolas. Thank you for listening and see you on our next discussion.